Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Triplis and today we will be looking at a quick tip for the Raspberry Pi. So I will be making a regular series out of this, but let's get started on the first quick tip. So if you want to have your Raspberry Pi on a static IP address, um, you can do that very easily. So there's a lot of documentation already on this on the internet, however, most of the documentation is an older way or a very complicated way forcing you to disable the DHCP service and so on. But there's actually a standard webhook. I'm pretty sure this works on multiple Linux distros, but for the Raspberry Pi it's very easy. All you do is sudo nano to edit the file. And since it's not, it's an operating system file, you need to sudo. You type DHCP, you press tab, uh, and then it's the cd.conf. And then here on the bottom, um, you see this part here. And this is basically where the magic happens. So all you need to do is type these five lines. The static IP address is the address you want to give to your Pi. So in my case, it's .100. The slash 24 is just uh, for your subnet. And then the static router, this is basically your endpoint. So this should be the IP of your router um, to which all traffic needs to be routed. Uh, and the domain name service, server is your DNS server. I also have this as my router, but you could, pretty sure um, you could also use uh, Google ones um, or whatever else. So all you need to do now is save by pressing Control O, uh, enter, Control X, and now reboot your Pi and you have a static IP address. In case you're not using ethernet, but wireless, you can also do the same because you can just change your interface. So the first thing you do is type efconfig, which shows you all your interfaces for the configuration of them. So you have ETH0, and there you can see we have a static IP address that I just gave. But here there is a WLAN0, which is your wireless. I do not have it connected right now, but if you want that, you can again type etc forward slash oh, sorry, sudo nano etc tdconf and then here in interface where you see eth0 you can just type wlan0 and do the, do the exact same thing thanks for watching see you again in the next one